Hi guys, today we will read Squirrel's Sweater. Let's start. Squirrel's tail twitched as she searched her nest. She was ready for winter, except for one thing. I have to find my sweater for winter warm up. There it is. Squirrel pushed her arms into the sleeves. Huh? She tried to tug the sweater over her head. Stretch, twist, yank, pop. The snug sweater barely covered her belly. My sweater shrank. Squirrel grabbed her satchel and scurried into the woods. Doe would know what to do. Hello, Doe. You always make the loveliest decorations for winter warm up. Thank you, Squirrel, said Doe, looking up. Oh, my. Squirrel blushed. My favorite sweater shrank. Can you fix it? Doe considered her options. What if we add these branches and some ribbon to the hem? It will cover your belly and keep you warm. Doe wove and stitched until Squirrel's sweater smelled like fresh pine. Thank you, Doe. I'll see you tonight at winter warm up. Squirrel scampered down the path, swish, swish, slip. The evergreens worked themselves loose. Her belly was as chilly as ever. Squirrel rounded the corner to Bear's cave. Hello, Bear. Is that for winter warm up? No, he said. I'm just adding some new stuffing to my cozy comforter. After our bonfire tonight, I'm going to curl up for a long winter's nap. Squirrel sighed. It's too bad stuffing can't fix my sweater. Bear tilted his head. Maybe it can. Let's try this. As Bear sewed, Squirrel started to twitch and grin and giggle. Soon she was rolling on the floor. The stuffing is too tickly, Bear and Squirrel, but it will make a cozy addition to my nest. See you tonight. Squirrel slipped and slid into Porcupine's den. Whoa, she cried. Your walkway is a bit icy, Porcupine. Not ice, Squirrel. Beads. I've been spilling them all morning. What happened to your sweater? It shrank, said Squirrel. Or maybe I grew. I wanted to wear it tonight for winter warm-up. Can you help me fix it? Porcupine picked up some extra quills. Maybe we can use these to stretch it out. They tugged and pulled and stretched and rip. Squirrel's lip quivered. Granny Gray knit this sweater for me when I was just a kid. I thought it would always fit. Porcupine took Squirrel's paw. Granny Gray lives in your heart and you can't outgrow that. Squirrel thought for a moment. You're right, Porcupine. I'll see you tonight. Squirrel hurried back to her nest. She gave her sweater a final hug, then carefully cut out two hearts. Wrap wind with. Doe's ribbon connected the pieces. Stuff plump fluff. Bear's stuffing made it squeezable. Stitch so secure. Porcupine's beads added sparkle and shine. When it was time for winter warm-up, Squirrel couldn't wait to share her creation. This pillow reminds me of Granny Gray and each of you. That warms my heart just like winter warm-up. Mm -hmm.